Hello, all you lovely people out there. How is everyone doing? I'm Kate Hill and I'm here to give you the best, unbiased, honest commentary about our property markets, along with some really fantastic hints and tips. So again, taking the opportunity for this latest COVID lockdown, I have got news for you on all things a property. So stay tuned. Now, before we get going, if you are keen to get some insights into how to purchase property in a hyperactive market, then our completely free webinar is just the thing for you. I'll put the link down in the description below. There is lots that you need to think about, and it doesn't matter whether you're an investor or looking for your next home to live in. We will show you useful and professional insider tips to help you navigate a zealous market and secure the property that you want. Okay, so into our latest property news. CoreLogic's News Million Dollar Markets report has identified 218 markets where either house or unit median values in a suburb reached the million dollar mark in May 2021 compared with May 2020. The report highlights how the current housing market upswing has happened nationwide with each capital city market and rest of the state region recording an increase in values over the last 12 months. CoreLogic say that Australia's housing boom has led to property value increases, ranging from 5% in Melbourne to a 20% rise in values across Darwin, pushing a wider range of markets up to and beyond the million dollar mark. In the last 12 months, 218 markets joined the Million Dollar Club, 198 of which were house markets and 20 were unit markets. A quarter of the markets that ticked over the million dollar median were in Sydney, with 54 suburbs seeing either house or unit median values in a suburb join the million dollar club. Now, Stockland is Australia's largest listed residential developer, and they have noted a structural change in housing patterns caused by the pandemic and one fifth of their customers are choosing to live further out from cities than they otherwise would. Stockland say that the shift driven by more people working from home will last for the foreseeable future. They think it's about 20% of buyers who would have previously bought in the middle inner rings that are now looking for larger homes in outer ring areas. Because the workplace is different, people are working from home more and they are choosing to buy bigger homes further out. Stockland, which focuses generally on owner-occupier buyers in lower priced homes in large greenfield sites, see this trend continuing for the foreseeable future. Lending by the National Australia Bank to first home buyers has hit a new record high, although buyer enthusiasm for regional properties has slowed compared to last year's rapid growth. The NAB says its lending to new market newcomers in the first four months of the year surged 67% on 2020, with April being that peak. It also says that lending is up 9% on the final four months of 2020 when buyers started to re-enter the market in force. Although lending for regional properties eased off by 4% as outer metro suburbs became the clear preference of more buyers. Activity is also returning to inner city apartments where prices are relatively subdued following pandemic lockdowns last year. The NAB says that the level of first home buyer activity is uniquely high, but the demand which has prompted the national median price to lift more than 10% in the past year is causing problems for some aspiring homeowners. On a year-on-year -year basis, Queensland and WA lead the way, with NAB lending growth to first home buyers topping 90%. 
In comparison to the final four months of last year, Victoria is the front runner with first home buyer activity up 26% and driven entirely by metro areas. Regional areas across the nation recorded an 84% jump in first home buyer activity, while metro areas rose 65% compared to a year ago. However, it's a different story against the preceding four months with a 4% dip in regional first home buyer activity as against a 13% rise in the metro areas. Now, for those trying to borrow money at the moment, the Commonwealth Bank has become the first of the big four banks to tighten home loan standards. The bank says that it is changing the home loan assessment floor rate used to assess home loan applications from 5.1% to 5.2.5%. This serviceability floor rate is used by banks to judge whether borrowers can meet monthly mortgage repayments at higher interest rates. CBA say that they have taken into consideration the ongoing affordability for customers during the life of their loan, as well as any potential changes that the customer may incur. The lender says that while it is changing the home loan assessment floor rate, the interest rate buffer used on loans will remain unchanged at 2.5%. The bank insists that most customers applying for a home loan will not be impacted by the change. Although the switch could impact on borrowing by future home loan applicants, the bank says that 90% of customers aren't borrowing at capacity. Also, according to the latest Commonwealth Bank Household Spending Intentions series report, home buying, education and health and fitness spending intentions rose in May, reflecting the growing confidence and optimism of Australian consumers as the economic recovery turns into an economic expansion. CBA say that together with the strong labour market and positive wealth effects from rising dwelling prices, they expect consumer spending to support Australia's economic growth in 2021. Home buying intentions were stronger than May 2020 levels as both the number of mortgage applications and Google searches increased as residential property prices continue to march higher. CBA says that the high reading is no surprise given the strength in the housing market and add that CBA forecasts home prices to rise 14% over 2021 and 2022. Home prices continue to lift, supported by low interest rates and the return of property investors to the market. Retail spending intentions remains higher than May 2020, but the growth rate has retreated. Now, we will, as always, keep you posted on all things from around Australia that are property related as our year progresses. I'm genuinely trying to give you the best commentary and content here on this channel. Please let me ask you to hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and you're getting all our hints and tips as soon as I post them. If you are enjoying the free content, just hit that like button for me too. I do appreciate it. And I will see you again really soon. Bye.